AJ and myself, along with everyone in Pop, which apparently now is just Ashley for the time being, want to wish you and yours a very happy new year, and hopefully you guys and girls out there enjoyed your holiday season. Now that being said, now all that's out of the way, we can all go back to work, go back to school, go back to our normal lives, and for us, it's time for award season. So, in about a week, we have our first award ceremony. Two weeks. Two weeks? I thought it was about a week. This is the 11th. We have our first set, we have our next uh, nominations in about a week. Yeah. That's right. We got our BAFTAs on uh, January 9th. So, that's coming up. Sip and Snack's going to change in 2015. Don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Uh, seriously, I needed a segment for Thursday, so it's going to stay. <laughs> and don't worry, when Impact returns, you'll just get multiple videos. Now, here's the thing. What we're going to do with Sip and Snack is something a little different. We're not going to put, like, 17 things in one video. Why? Because I'm going to run out of things rather quickly if that happens. For the month of January, I've got everything completely figured out with the exception of the last week. That's how much I'm prepared right now for Sip and Snack. After that, I got nothing. I got nothing, guys. I don't. Hopefully you guys give me some ideas because I got nothing. But that's the reason why we're not putting like 17 things in one video. So we're going to be putting one thing on each video and maybe some comparison videos coming later. Even though a comparison video almost got me to stop Sip and Snack permanently because I almost died from those au gratin potatoes. Now granted, that's a little dramatic, but... I did get sick, so, I mean, that's one thing, so. We're here for Sip and Snack, and I said we're here for Sip and Snack because I'll shoot with you guys. It is New Year's Eve right now, and AJ's here anyway. We're doing a lot of filming for the channel. There'll be a lot of videos you guys are going to get in the next couple days and in the next week or so, and actually beyond that in some cases. So all of those will be watched very soon. That's why AJ's here, and apparently under duress, he is doing the Sip and Snack with me. I, I just need to hydrate for all the other videos, so we're doing this one first. So, conveniently here. I do not plan on returning to this segment, because it's a weird concept to me. <laughs> hey, if you guys and girls out there well, like AJ on here, then let me know in the comments. Like, send me emails. You know how to get a hold of me. Tell AJ he needs to be a part of this segment more often. It's, it's not that it's a bad idea. It's just it's weird for me to, like, you know, in front of people, you know? It, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll go back to the fact that uh, AJ versus Food at Buffalo Wild Wings was never televised. It was just something that we did, just both of us, like, for fun. So, that was entertaining. Yeah, I don't think that's coming to pop. Trust me, it won't. I don't think he'll let that happen. But, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> your wallet cannot handle it, and neither can your palate. My, my life. Yeah, your, your, your life would be over. Yes, place, so. I, I have, actually. I've been going there for quite a long time. So, you see we have two glasses, and I got this, and the only thing that really comes to mind is to drop this thing right in the thing and <laughs> party time. But no, I can assure you this isn't alcohol. This isn't vodka, trust me. It's not. It's water. AJ's got one too. Why? Because we need a palate cleanser. Because apparently, if you drink something, you need a palate cleanse, because if not, you're going to taste the same thing the next time you drink it, and you're going to have like a skewed reality of what you're drinking. Miles Raymond would tell you the same thing. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> exactly. And of course, when it comes to glasses like this, pickies up, of course. So, we're going to do a sip this time on Sip and Snack, and we're going to do a snack next week. We're actually do a lot of snacks in January, but we're going to be focusing on chips and crackers in the next couple of weeks. So, I know that sounds random, and trust me, it truly is. But we're going to be doing a lot of uh, barbecue chips coming in the next couple of weeks, and i got a couple cracker things to do as well. So... That being said, we're going to do a sip to start out 2015, and <laughs> I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. Number one, at this house especially, for whatever reason, a bottle opener is almost impossible to find. It wasn't impossible to find, actually, once we looked. Yeah, it had to be looked for. <laughs> like, my grandfather used to have one that was circular, where you actually put the tip of the bottle in, and you just, boop, and that's all you got to do. Yeah, I made that sound. I have no idea why. But It's probably much easier to do than I was. Yes, and we will explain <laughs> what I mean in a minute. We're going to uh, start out with sips. Obviously, you know we're talking about bottled beverages because, number one, I've got three bottled beverages of the same kind. Number two, these are all Mexican drinks, which means pure cane sugar. Yes, no caffeine, but pure sugar. And given the fact of how many videos I know we have to film tonight, yeah, we need some pure cane sugar right now. We I, not not this kind of cane sugar, but cane when, sugar. When I do the Fox Catch a review, which is the next video we're gonna shoot, it'll be like I stole some of John Dupont's coke. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys like these Doritos? This is amazing. It's great. It's the greatest thing ever. It's oh my god. 
I, I made the Jurassic Park thing happen with the water. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> the T-Rex was coming towards us. Here, Mark, try some. <laughs> <laughs> You're not comatose enough. Now, <laughs> first off, we're going to show you what AJ does with a bottle opener. <laughs> Look at this. That, he that's... put a freaking hole in the middle of it. To the State Farms logo on the front of the, the top of it. Well, you see, when I saw them, my first thought was, oh, they just must be, like, the caps of twist off. Yeah, and I tried to do that on camera, and that's a video you guys will never see, because it is gone, the annals of history. Gone. So, so needless to say, I've never actually, like, used, like, a legit bottle opener <laughs> before right now. Nope. So. Well, guess what? You're going to be using it two more times, because this is going to happen again, and again, and again, and again, and again. If you want to read this, it says, Jaritos, que buenos, son? I'm sure it's much more legible on the other ones that weren't destroyed. And there's this bird in the middle, because why not? So, we got three flavors of Jaritos. Uh, this is just a drink my mom brought home the other day, because I need things on the segment. And she basically is like, here, I randomly come home from work, and all of a sudden there's like 35 things laying here. It's like, you can try this on your segment. I was like, okay, sure, why not? So we're going to start out with three different flavors. We have lime, we have mandarin, and we have fruit punch. Why? Because fruit punch seems to be something that's universally liked. And I love fruit punch, as you guys know from the first two sipping snacks. Mandarin is orange enough for me to be able to tolerate it. And I'm not a big fan of lime, but we'll see. I love lime. You like like lemon lime Gatorade? Uh, any lime, really. Universally known, lemon lime Gatorade is like the worst Gatorade in the world. That's what people's but, telling me. I mean, I, it's okay for me. It's not the greatest. I don't re well. I don't recall having that specifically, but any everything so far, nothing has. You know. Guess what? We may have something to list today. So this is Jaritos Lime. Of course, has the Lyman at the bottom because the only thing I know from Lyman is the uh, the old Sprite commercials. You know what else is awesome is Key Lime Pie. Key Lime Pie. I'm not a fan. Well, I think it's like. I, I'd never actually tried it before uh, Mickey Knox and Natural Born Killers. And then that, for some reason, that, you know. You just have to. <laughs> have yeah. And some people were influenced by Natural Born Killers to go out and kill people. I was influenced to eat key lime pie. <laughs> and this kind of looks like a liquid, like, lime. That's probably pretty that's, much what it is. So. That's probably the challenge. And this looks like alcohol. I swear to you, it does. If I didn't, like, cover this thing up, even if I did, and you didn't see the fact that this wasn't alcoholic, then you wouldn't know the difference. It's just the glass bottle. Yeah. There, there glass a, bottles. I very telling. I don't remember where they were coming from, but there was a while where I was getting, like, um, Sunkist and so on. Oh, yeah. They have those like, now. Yeah. I've seen those. I actually saw those the other day when I was shopping with for, for, for the segment, actually. A couple of things you're going to see in the next three weeks. <coughs> so we're going to start out with lime, because apparently AJ likes lime, and <laughs> this will be fun. So <laughs> we're going to use this, and we're going to uh, pour some lime here. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Looks good. Looks, gonna... looks like some sort of an energy drink that I've had before. Or we're going to turn into Ninja Turtles. Yes, <laughs> that's a very good pot. There could be mut mutation like juice in here. It'd be awesome. It doesn't say TGRI on the side, does it? No. Okay. <laughs> as long as Megan Fox isn't at my door, I'm fine. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Uh... Especially in character as April O'Neil. <laughs> Just as long as she says, it's okay, you guys. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I couldn't make the Bill and Ted reference earlier, so I had to do it with this one. So, yeah. April O'Neil. <laughs> Megan Fox, you suck. Are you going first, or are we doing it at the same time? Or? Yeah, we'll do the same time. And I got the the not vodka water here. <laughs> the Jack, the uh, what? What is uh? What did Bobby Boucher say? What was his favorite thing? He liked uh, scotch and water hold the scotch. Bingo. <laughs> did you <laughs> just make a joke, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, uh, Blake Clark, you're amazing. So who's <laughs> the other guy? I still think Blake Clarkson. Even the guy with the eyes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right on. The guy's the guy, from, the guy from Kill Bill and Death Proof. The guy that's in the all the uh, Happy Madison movies. So let's try this. First off, hey, smell. What do you think it smells like? Are you chewing gum? <laughs> nice. I'll be the Thomas Hayden George here. I don't know. It tastes pretty good to me. <laughs> it's got the lime taste, and I put my nose all the way down on the bottom here. I, I might need more, but I, I'm kind of worried, honestly. <clears throat> let's try this. You ready? Bottoms up. <laughs> hey <laughs> it tastes like lime yeah it does uh to me personally it tastes <clears throat> like a drink version of those flavor ices you would get 
like the ice pops. Like it melted. Like a melted popsicle. Except it's really, really like. The carbonation's definitely yeah, there too. That. Carbonated like popsicle <clears throat> melted. <laughs> A little bit more. There's more. So I'll try this. It's fine. I mean, I. Would, I mean, would you would you drink it again? If you had it accessible. If it was like the only thing there. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> That's a good thing. It's not, if it was the only thing there, it wouldn't be like, you know, I wouldn't be forcing it down or anything. No. So <clears> let's <throat> go to water. This looks like a very tiny jar. This is this looks like a, a jar of nails or something. It could be. <laughs> it's liquid nails. Hmm. Alright, so... So who knows what I have right now. Break out the nasty <laughs> bottle opener again. <laughs> Because it's time for Mandarin. <clears throat> or Mandarina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I assumed it was just like orange, but I guess that's a little different. Uh, Mandarin has a different taste to it. It's got like a different like aftertaste than orange does. I know this from the uh, the Kakigori in Japan at uh, Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, AJ, always, get ready to open this one on camera. I always just think of that scene in Beyond the Sea where they um, were basically supposed to be under the impression that Bobby Darren got his name from walking down the street, mm. and there was a Mandarin sign, but the M-A-N was out on it. I don't know if that's as easy as it was. Like or, the Jersey Boy sign? Or that's the bowling alley? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Guys, it's a sign. Literally, it's a sign. Yay. Hey, hey, now, it didn't end up making my final list of the year, oops, but, I mean, I didn't mind it, I liked it. A lot of people did for some reason, remember the crowd we watched that with? Yes. I am totally talking to Stahl right now, because I can't, <laughs> this isn't as easy as the lime bottle It was. looks like, it looks like knee-high, that's exactly what it looks like to me, like orange knee-high. I think it's knee-high. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> when you hear that fizz, you know that you've done something right, or yeah. something wrong, depending on how you look at things. You're probably gonna hear it hit the floor <laughs> soon. <laughs> Maybe this does have alcohol in it. We don't know. <laughs> so Cane sugar is another name for alcohol, apparently. And that hits the floor. <clears throat> Alright. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is a lot easier from people who do this often. But that, is the, that is now the second bottle I've opened in my entire life with an actual bottle. Get ready for so. three. <laughs> God. You might want to finish that because you're going to have like extra lime residue. All right. Hopefully the next conversation while opening a bottle was better than talking about fucking Jersey Boys again. <laughs> <laughs> when I hear Mandarin, I think about the song Mandarin Rain, of course. I, I'd be playing in the background right now if this was a Will video. but uh, Or what Ben Kings it was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, no lie. So let's try Mandarin. Or I believe it's some sort of a monkey as well. Aren't those Mandarins? I don't know. The animals! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Owen. I don't know stuff. <laughs> Let's try this, shall we? I like orange soda. <laughs> Who likes orange soda? I know she put a lot more in there than you did the wine. <laughs> Sir Rowan Disney likes orange soda. <clears throat> Alright. Let's look at it and see what it looks like, shall we? Looks like this. I like the bubbles. Isn't that nice? It's nice and... Isn't that refreshing? Doesn't it look nice? Hopefully it's not like the freaking tang I had last week. Good lord, that stuff was nasty. So let's try this. First off, we we'll smell it because we have to do the. This this feels like sideways. That wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, wow. It's pungent. Yeah. It's it's very pungent, and it scares me now. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, you know, is this probably possibly going to taste like sun kissed? So <laughs> that is apparently not the case. That would be a no. Mandarin does not taste like orange. It's an orange soda, but it's not orange. Mm. Let's, let's try this thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh. The smell's stronger than the taste, though. The taste is barely there for me. <laughs> I don't know what it is about my palate, because I drink a lot of orange soda. I even have Diet Orange Crush in that yeah, fridge right, right now. But <clears throat> it's we're kind of reusing the same thing we just said, but to me it kind of tastes like an orange popsicle in that aftertaste era. <laughs> Maybe like an orange... It, it kind of tastes like orange cough syrup. Like if you had like cough syrup, you're going to have Diamond Tap. It's got the, the very, very grape taste. It tastes kind of like it should be something I'm taking for medicine. Yeah, now it tastes like the walls of a basement. 
<laughs> You've licked a basement recently? <laughs> no, but I'm guessing. <laughs> Snow them. says touch the furry wall, not eat the furry wall. Don't tell them about my private life. <laughs> what he does in his spare time is none of your <clears throat> business. <laughs> let's, let's get some water, shall we? Get this. Oh my god. <clears throat> This bathroom sink water tastes a lot better than the, than the mandarin. Yeah. Oh, the combination is wonderful. Yeah, especially with these I tiny, also, tiny glasses. I also brushed my teeth like 20 minutes ago. That can't be helping anything. I'm sure it probably isn't, but you're getting the same taste I am, so at least that's <clears> one <throat> thing. Well, obviously, the, uh, the mandarin and the lime were kind of a mixed bag. You would think <clears throat> that this would be the one that I'm going to go towards, because obviously I like fruit punch. I know a lot of, there's a Mexican cola version of this, which is kind of like, literally like Mexican Coke, but this is the only ones my mom could find, so that's the reason why it doesn't, it's not in here, or it would be here, because obviously, anytime there's a cola option, excuse me, usually go right towards it, so <clears throat> let's go into Fruit Punch, or Tutti Frutti. This is Craig Ferguson now. Oh, Rudy. <clears throat> little, little Richard Fruit Punch. <laughs> Let's look at that, shall we? Isn't that, doesn't it look awesome? First off, let's look at this logo. Jaritos is literally three jars. <laughs> it's three jars. Those are jugs, actually. They, they look like jars. <clears throat> or pitchers, either. One jugs, pitchers, jars, sure. But they're but they're like orange and they're green. Like one's a pitcher and like one's like I feel like this is what they would have made in Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Unchained melody should be played in the background. Right now. So, uh, this also has natural sugar. It also has the bird that says it's made in Mexico. And, go ahead. Just make those jars as wise saying we didn't die. They never figured that out in the movie. <laughs> well, it, he, his ghost didn't go to the that, that, That's true. <laughs> it had nothing to do with saving Molly at all. So, I'm going to take this now. <laughs> <laughs> Uncomfortable silence lets you guys know what I'm thinking right now. Okay, we're talking about Jersey. Let's talk about American Sniper now. Sweet. Because uh, we're just... You know, because I just want to talk about Eastwood today. I haven't seen American Sniper. Not many people have seen American Sniper. It's only playing in fourth years, but it's doing really well box office wise. It really is, honestly. Uh, but have not seen it. But I'm going to assume that Cooper is very good in it. Apparently, Jonah Hill is really uh, behind Cooper. That's good. Uh, I don't know how much push Jonah Hill has, but I mean, he is yeah. an Oscar nominee after all. It's oh, know, that, but... drink the rest of that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Drink the rest of the residue in the orange. The mandarin. Wow. <laughs> Why is that bad? Yes. <laughs> you know the bottom of the Kool Aid jug, which has nothing but pure sugar in it? Oh, yeah. Get ready. <laughs> oh, great. So, American Sniper, I do know for a fact, is coming. Our official advanced bookings are coming Friday, so we are getting it for sure. It's coming um, either the 12th. The week, is this the week after Selma and Our Bodies? That is correct. Because I told you, you kept thinking we were going to sell them early, but I had to keep telling you the wide release is on the 9th. They don't send me movies to build, especially on the satellite. They don't. They didn't send me a box. A box would have made more sense. They sent me a movie on the satellite. Usually that means we're going to get it. I still have the theory of everything, too, and we haven't built that either. Yeah, we were supposed to. It, it should have. There's a chance it would have came out this week, but we're not getting anything except for The Woman in Black. And we'll talk about that Friday. I know you were confident we were going to get the... They right don't send we're, us. We're, we're totally just bullshitting now because if you're here for this, you're fast forwarding through all of this right now. You're just looking at that that really helpful little <laughs> box when you scroll over the um, the bar on YouTube where it kind of shows you the picture of where it is in the video at that particular time, and you're totally just looking for this to pass by. And this is what you're <laughs> looking for. You saw me do this in the box, and now you know you're where you want to be. <laughs> <clears throat> Nib high football rules. Now, <laughs> what you what you drink the rest of this? <clears throat> okay, fine. Try it. Should I say Doyle rules now? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it is orange, you know. Indeed, it is. Should I be playing the Popeye theme right now? <laughs> What's it taste like for the last bit of it? <sighs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go with Fruit Punch, which I'm starting to look at this, and it's starting to scare me more because these have not been a great success. Mm. But let's see what Little Richard says about uh, Fruit Punch. Because <laughs> apparently it's Tutti Fruity Punch. <laughs> so. look, immediately looks like cheer wine, 
which a lot of fruit punch beverages do, which I've never had in my life. I'm sure my mom's going to call me out and say, you haven't had it before. And I was like, no, I don't remember. Like, this is, apparently I had Twinkies back before, too. And how am I going to remember that? Those things sucked. Sorry, Tallahassee. Those things sucked. <laughs> you say it's the little retro drink. It's the blood from the ears of the people who listen to his high-pitched noise. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wow. This is not This is not made in Cleveland. <laughs> what, are you scared? Yes. What, what are you, Kid Rock? <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, I hate Bob Ritchie. Okay, let's do this. First off, tastes more cher- smells more cherry than fruit punchish, like more of a tropical punch. Maybe you've, what does it smell like to you? Yeah, it just yeah. It, there's a few things in there. It just smells it smells tropical. <laughs> I feel like you should have an umbrella like hanging from this glass. <laughs> All right. That tastes like a child's medicine. <laughs> you know the, the flavorful medicine you get them, so they'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still have more of this. <laughs> Why'd you put so much in there? I don't... Were you that confident? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I should learn from sip and snack problems by now. <clears throat> Long over doing this segment? <laughs> <clears throat> I know you hate when I make that sound. Um, this is the stuff I drink when I don't want to open a can of soda. I don't want to make a pitcher of lemonade, and I just want something to drink just to get through a video, or to get through a bad wrestling show, or I just want to eat chips. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would drink, but if you want to, would you believe to have, okay, not would you believe, but would you want to drink one of these with a meal? I wouldn't, it wouldn't be terrible, except maybe the Mandarin. The Mandarin's um, bad. It wouldn't be, you know, difficult or anything. It'd just be not something preferred. I mean, more likely, we probably <clears throat> should have had our nose like a small child and drank the, the drinks. <laughs> I never liked water as much as I do right now. <laughs> it's not, the only time I really drink a lot of water is Halloween Horror Nights because it's like 8,000 degrees outside and... Sometimes it rains, sometimes it doesn't, and you're going from house to house to house, and you have to, like, hey, I'll become Brody, and I'll just get, ask for a free cup of water <laughs> instead of Coke, obviously, because I want water. This, that's what I need, a palate cleanser here. Okay, so <clears throat> that was fun. Um, so I would say right now that um, the winner here would probably be, weirdly enough, would the winner here be the Lime? Uh, the fruit punch isn't bad either. It's all... I, I probably prefer the fruit punch to the lime, actually. Well, <clears throat> well, we're, obviously we're gonna we're gonna break precedence here, <laughs> and we're going to see which one you like the best. <laughs> I almost want to mix them. Do you want to try it? You want to mix? Might them? as well. All right, let's do this. <laughs> let's mix these mother freakers. <clears throat> You want to throw some mandarin on top of this? Yeah, might as well. All right. Yeah, now I'm totally ripping people off. Now! (laughs) In uh, some cases, these are called suicides. In other cases, this is called what Owen does sometimes when he gets bored at work. He makes drinks for people. What? Water? (laughs) It's a a literal suicide now. Yeah. (laughs) So first off, we're going to show people what it looks like. That's mine. It looks... That doesn't look healthy. (laughs) What about yours? Look different? I would think not, because you just... <laughs> <laughs> so, the only thing we don't have in here is water, so... I noticed you just put a little uh, dab of the mandarin in there. Like the episode of Roseanne when Becky gets drunk, and they just put the tiny dab of root beer in Do you it. want more freaking mandarin in there? No. Okay. <laughs> then why are you complaining? <laughs> I was just observing. Alright, let's 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 shake this up a little bit, because we don't want everything... To, we don't want the mandarin, we want it to flip to the bottom. <laughs> Float to the bottom, Mandarin. See, look, we're shaking the drink, and I may drop it on camera. It looks really bad. Now I wish this drink was like Iron Man 3, and the Mandarin's just not real. 
<laughs> I think about 15 people that watched this video got that reference. You don't think the people that watched this saw fucking Iron Man 3? <laughs> I don't know. Well, spoiler alert. For you, the rest of you. <laughs> oh, for it's not, I'll, I'll let you drink. Oh my god, that smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> it mostly smells like the Mandarin. The Mandarin is very... Shake it up a little bit more. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to make. I need to mix drinks more often. It's really got that medicine smell. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I was trying to laugh. I ended up spinning everywhere. Well, now, now it's got an extra ingredient apparently. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. No more. Let's, let's do this. And I won't be finishing that. So, <clears throat> okay. That's oh. Like, okay, that's not, well, hold on. That's not as bad as I was expecting, actually. No? <laughs> I don't have much water left. <laughs> that's not good. I, I well, don't... The taste for me is already gone. That's weird. It's like in the back of my throat for some reason. It's like there. It's like, it's like, ah, I'm going to be around for a while now. <laughs> and I was like, no, don't. I'll be, Wow. I need some saltines or something. Yeah, I can't taste a thing now. It, Our, may, it may have destroyed my taste buds have, on the way down. We have had know. our taste buds killed <clears throat> by drinking the Jaritos, like, party mix. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, you guys can look at that if you want. That's what's left. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> now I feel like I drank Beverly for the first time. All right, so... That's what we've got right now. And after drinking all of that, what would you say is your favorite? Uh, pro uh, mm. Probably the fruit punch. We can take the mandarin and just like dump it outside. <laughs> fruit punch, yeah, it's fine. Lime, like I said before, <clears throat> it's like if you have like a melted ice pop. I don't know where you are in the country or where you are in a different country, but like a popsicle, an ice pop, whatever you want to call it. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah, Fruit Punch is probably the winner here. Mandarin, definitely the loser, without a doubt. Definitely the one part of the uh, the party mix that we didn't want to drink. So there. So that is your sip and snack for the first day of January in 2015. A lot more still to come. Will AJ return? Maybe someday. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. If you guys want to see AJ on this uh, segment, then let me know. So, uh... Other than that, next week, brand new sip and snack. We're going to be going into a couple weeks of barbecue potato chips. We're actually going to be trying some uh, some different Lay's brand of barbecue chips, and we're going to be doing a uh, a versus of barbecue chips. We have two different kinds of barbecue chips. We're going to put them against each other that week after, and then I've got some uh, some Lance crackers, like those snack pack crackers that you used to get in school back in the day, mm -hmm. like the bar peanut butter crackers. We have different flavors of those. We're going to hit. We're going to go with those and. <clears throat> towards the end of January, so we got that, and um, I might be getting Coke Life soon, so hopefully if I get that, I will be able to do that video, and I have some uh, Wild Cherry Pepsi, you know, the Pepsi with sugar that they make now, mm. like the Pepsi Cola with the sugar, I have a Wild Cherry variety, which apparently I didn't even know they made, so we've got that, and that's going to be the end of the Sip and Snack video for today, I'm going to go get my stomach pumped, <laughs> no, not going to do that, it, it it's not very good, but it's not like vomit inducing or anything so no worries there if you like movie content you're gonna love the next week mark my words a lot of movie reviews coming out we got a fox catcher review to come out we got a lot of movies aj watched recently we're going to be knocking those out of the park we got a brand new versus coming out on sunday we've got aj's movie reviews normal version on friday which will be talking about the woman in black too and some other things as well and we've also got prediction videos coming in the next couple weeks for Critics' Choice as well as the Golden Globes. And I believe the SAG is going to be in that lineup as well, I think. Somewhere. Somewhere in that time frame. So before January is over, you'll get those videos. And once the actual awards happen, we'll do our reactions on uh, what actually won and what actually lost. So that's coming very soon. So thank you guys and girls up there for watching. If you have sip and snack ideas... You can send me an email, Disney at gmail.com. If you have ideas for verses, the vlog of randomness, or you'd like to just shoot me an email anyway, we can uh, talk about anything you want, ask me questions. Very simple, very easy to do. Like our Facebook fan page, Sir Owen Disney Pop on Facebook. Send me a friend request on Facebook if you'd like. It's Owen Disney. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Sir Owen Disney. So uh, 
I do follow Fridays for all my friends, so yeah, check that out. So in the meantime, thank you guys and girls up there for watching, and until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I gotta say about that.